Hi friends, I am so glad you stopped by today. For today's video, I am going to be completely transforming my family room. And I don't know about you, but every now and then I sometimes get bored with my decor or get bored with my furniture. And whenever I start feeling that way, I know it's time to change things up. So for today's video, I'm going to show you how I'm going to completely transform this space without spending a dime. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you're new, I hope you'll consider subscribing. And let's begin. I'm going Before I begin, I'll give a quick little tour of our family room. I'm sure many of you watching have never seen my family room before, but our family room is literally the first thing you see as you enter our front door. This is the view and we do have a two-story family room, which I really like. It's it's very pretty to look at, um, but sometimes I feel like it makes the room look a little too formal. So I like to add a lot of pillows, a lot of throws just to give it a more cozy feel. Um, so behind my sectional here, I have this console table and then I have uh, this large basket where I keep our throws. I've got several uh, side tables. Um, two accent chairs on either side of the fireplace, um, an ottoman, and then of course the large sectional. And if you have a sectional, you know that it it does limit um, how, it limits how you can arrange your furniture. You kind of are stuck with it in maybe one position in the room. But what I love about this sectional is you can actually break it apart and make it two separate couches. And that is key to today's transformation as you are about to see. So my plan today is to use everything you see in the room today. I might swap out a few things from some other rooms, but I'm just going to use all of the same decor, but completely change it up. And this room is going to look completely different by the time this video is over. First things first, I'm taking all of the decor that I currently have in the room and I'm placing it on the kitchen table, just taking it all out of this space so I can better visualize how I want to rearrange everything because my plan is to use my existing decor that I currently have in the room. I love, love the blue and white combination. I used it for my spring decor, so I'm just gonna continue it, continue using it for my summer decor as well. But this is by far the biggest way to save yourself some money. Find decor that maybe you have in other rooms and try using it in a, a different space. It will feel new again. You'll Sometimes you forget you even have decor items. I know for myself, I have things stored away in a cupboard and I forget about it. So out of sight, out of mind as they say. Um, so pulling it out again makes it feel like a brand new piece. Now that I've cleared a lot of the smaller things out of the room, I'm going to attempt to move the furniture on my own. And if you've ever moved furniture on your own, you know that these little furniture sliders are a life saver. They are just simply a little disc that is padded on one side and you just set the furniture legs on this and you're able to scoot it right across the floor. It's that easy. As you see here, I am moving my furniture out of the room, or at least as far out of the room as possible. This just helps me to have a blank canvas, a blank space to work with, so I can better visualize how I want to reposition the furniture. And it allows me to reposition my rug because I am going to be moving this rug 
um, in the opposite direction. So instead of having it kind of horizontal right now, I'm going to place it in a vertical position. But if you do not have a rug in your living room or any room for that matter, I highly recommend it. I love using rugs. It really adds a form of art to your room. It kind of anchors the whole room together, anchors like it brings the whole room together. Um, and it adds warmth and comfort, especially if you have wood floors, adding a rug surprisingly just warms up that space. So I highly recommend using a rug. This particular rug, I'm not sure if I will be keeping it here. I do like how it looks, but this actually belongs um, up in our master bedroom. We're currently working on that space. It's almost completed. Um, and depending on whether I get a new rug for my bedroom, We'll determine if I keep this rug in the family room or not. All this time, I've been feeling hopeless till you came around, came around. All this time, you're the only reason I'm not chasing highs, chasing highs. What is love? Lately I've been wondering just what is love, what is love? Okay, so I have officially moved all the furniture and I have it set, I think, in a way that I'm happy with. Um, I'll share a couple of my thoughts with you guys and you'll have to let me know what you think. This console table, which definitely needs to be dusted, I'll get to that in a moment. But I'm thinking I really like it behind the couch where it's at right now because it kind of is like, some decor to look at uh, from the kitchen here. I'm standing like in my nook area, looking at the family room and I like it there, but I'm considering moving it to that wall, which is a wall that I have, I put it there often. Actually, most of the time I've had it on that wall, but I really like it behind the couch here. So let me know what you guys think. Should I leave it there? Or do you think it would look better behind the wall? Um, of course, I do need to add all the decor and pillows, which is what I'm doing. I'm going to do here shortly. Um, another thought is this wall here with the pompous grass. I love that grass and um, I really think it would look better in this corner here. But the problem, problem is I do not have any artwork to put on that wall and I feel like that wall would just be too empty without something there. So I don't know. Let me know what you think about that. For now, I'm going to leave it there until I find art or I don't know. Honestly, I've been looking for a long time now and I'm just so afraid to buy anything to put on that wall for fear that... I'm not gonna like it and then I have to return it. Let me know if any of you have the same issue with making decisions on decor. Um, so now that all the furniture is in place, I'm gonna go ahead and dust and start adding in all of the pillows and decor, the fun part. I'd love to hear from you guys if you're like me and you're constantly rearranging your spaces. I have so much fun rearranging different rooms in my house. It's just a great way to make them feel refreshed and new again. But for the decor that you see in this video, I will try to link as many pieces as I can find links for down in the description box. Some of the th items I purchased from home goods, so I won't have links for those things. But as I said, what I can find links for, I will link down below. And 
Here I'm decorating my fireplace mantle and I'm using these olive branches, which I've never decorated my fireplace mantle this way before. And when I put them up there, I was just so giddy. I got so excited because I really liked how it looked. I did swap the clear vase I originally started with and put them in this black vase instead. So I was really happy with that. I think that looks a lot better and it just kind of is more eye-catching. Um, so you guys will have to let me know what you think and let me know what you think about this little greenery I added to the side table. I'm not big on adding faux plants in that, but I purchased that uh, well over a month ago from Michael's. I purchased it when I did my spring decorating and um, I kind of regretted purchasing it at the time. I felt like once I got it home, it reminded me a little too much of a Chia Pet and it's just been sitting in my cupboard. So this is the first time I'm finally bringing it out to see the light of day and I have to say, I kind of like it there. Let me know what you guys think. Is anyone else obsessed with baskets like I am? I love baskets. I love using them in my decor. They're not only decorative, but they're functional as well. And if you have a more formal looking space, adding a basket can definitely add a little bit more uh, warmth and comfort to the room. And as far as the cords that you see, I definitely have to um, set up an extension cord to get those lamps hooked up. So that's on my to-do list. But something recently that I have done to my coffee books is I removed the covers on them. And you would be amazed at how pretty just the basic um, hard cover without the paper cover on the book can be. So I did that to all of my coffee books, the ones that you saw on the console table um, as well and I love how it looks. I feel like it gives, uh, gives the, the space more of a high-end uh, luxe look. As I said, there are so many ways you can transform your space without spending a dime or spending very minimal money. Maybe you have a worn couch that needs to be replaced, but you just don't have the funds right now. Go buy a slip cover. There are so many beautiful slip covers that can make your couch look new again, or buy some new pillows that are a different style you've maybe not tried before. They have different textures, mix those patterns. It's a great way to add interest to the room. Here is the finished look and I could not be happier. I love how it has just opened up the space. It feels more spacious and inviting, especially since this is the first room you see as you enter the house. So I will definitely be keeping it this way at least for a while. That is until I get the urge to change things up again. So that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this transformation. I have to say I added a lot more than um, I'm used to. It's a little more 
there's a little more decor than what I typically would put in a room, but let me know what you guys think, what's your favorite part of the room, or what would you change? I'd love to hear from you guys, and um, I'm holding Sadie here to keep her from barking, but isn't she the cutest? So anyways, thanks so much for watching, and stay tuned, I have a lot more videos coming out. I, um, I'm trying to get back on schedule with at least two videos a week. So I have a lot of ideas and um, I'm excited to put forth more videos. So I hope you guys will check it out and make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss them and hit that bell notification so that you are notified when I do post. And um, have a wonderful day. I will see you in my next one. Take care. Mwah.